Part D, cloning the system from HDD to SSD. During Part B, I install a Samsung M2970 Evo SSD. Go to the Samsung website and load the Samsung Magician that prolongs SSD life and optimizes its operation. Upon opening Magician, it showed that the SSD used the Microsoft NVMe driver. Go to Samsung and download the Samsung driver for 970 Evo. Then install it. Reopen Magician and this time it should show the proper NVMe driver. Now we are ready to clone the operating system. Do not use the Samsung migrating software as it does not clone the entire HDD but only the system partition. Go and download the free edition Macrium Reflect. No need to register through your email. Press continue. Install and open Macrium Reflect. You will notice all the drives in the system and the partitions in it. Click on the disk you would like to clone and click under it the clone this disk. On the clone pop-up window, it will present the disk you want to clone on top and the destination disk on the bottom. In my case the 970 EVO. If the destination disk is already partitioned, then you press delete existing partitions again and again until all partitions are removed in order to create the clone. Then use the mouse and move each of the partitions from the source disk to the destination disk following the same exact order as in the source disk. In my case, the Toshiba HDD had 1 terabyte of space, but the new Samsung 970 Evo was only 500 gigabytes. To adapt to the smaller size, after using the mouse to move the operating system NTFS primary partition from the source disk, to the destination disk, I clicked on the cloned partition properties underneath that uh, destination disk and move the partition size spacer arrows in the partition properties window down to around 445 gigabytes to decrease the partition space as needed. I wanted for the drive to have enough space to accommodate all the partitions and allow a small unallocated space of around uh, 15 uh, megabytes at the end. Then I continue moving the rest of the partitions in exact sequence after that system partition and press next, following the instructions all the way until the clone was successfully created. The process took uh, almost two hours. Finally, I pressed to shut down the system. Again, I unplugged the computer and uh, clicked on the power button for completed discharge, holding for 3 to 5 uh, seconds. Then I opened the case and disconnected the data and power cables from the Toshiba hard drive. Afterwards, I reconnected and powered up the system with only the Samsung 970 installed to be used as the C drive. This time, the system presented me with a PIN request within uh, 20 seconds or less after pressing the start button. Everything worked and tested as it should. Then I press restart to repeat the starting sequence and again everything was loading evidently faster. 